Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. I've just filmed the outro to my last vlog and I'm picking it, I'm going straight back in, like no days off. We're vlogging everything. So today is Monday and I'm thinking about what's coming up this week and I feel like this is going to be such a good vlog and I just, I'm so excited to show you everything that I've got going on. But yeah, so happy Monday. It's another week in my life here living in Dubai. If you're new to the channel, welcome my vlogs are all about giving you an insight into what it's like living here in dubai as a freelance social media manager and as a youtuber so so i'm so ready for another week of just having fun and today what's on the agenda for today well i'm working from home today and i'm about to make myself some lunch i'm gonna have a thai curry soup for lunch i've decided a thai curry noodle soup with some veggies um i've been really trying to eat well and kind of eat clean and be back in my gym routine a little bit ever since coming back from my four month long european summer tour so yeah i'm feeling pretty good at the moment i think that's why i'm like buzzing with energy and i'm so talkative is because when you're like back in your gym routine it's probably the endorphins honestly the endorphins are working um, so yeah i'm feeling good at the moment feeling healthy and i'm i'm yeah i'm literally signing up for every class at my gym at my new gym um i've gone for the unlimited package at studio republic where you can literally do anything and i think i'm getting a bit carried away because today i'm doing three classes today i'm doing breath work which obviously isn't like an an active class but it's so nice to go and meditate in a group setting i just find it so it just feels so good and i think it is really good for if you're like me and find slowing down and meditating quite challenging and you can't kind of it, you find it hard to almost force yourself to do it i think doing it in a group setting is a really good way to approach it and kind of get into it so Today I'm doing Breathe and Meditate, which is in their beautiful yoga studio. In fact, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to vlog the studio and show you it because I don't think I've showed you it yet. Then after that, I'm doing a new dance class, which I've not done before. I've, I've nearly tried all the dance classes there, but I've not done hip hop there. So we're doing commercial hip hop. And then right after that, we're doing heels. And I've not done heels at Studio Republic. I've only done it at Chima. I'm pointing there because it's literally out there. I can see it out my window. But they've stopped doing that dance class and I don't know why. I don't know if they're moving their direction into being more of like a Pilates specialist studio. But anyway, so it's busy and I feel like I'm feeling so happy that I have that I have the flexibility and the time to invest in hobbies. I, I'm honestly, if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I'm I'm like obsessed with starting new hobbies so you know you you've been there through my sourdough era right at the start of the year you've seen me doing the dance classes you've seen me starting to learn italian now can i introduce you to piano playing mabel <laughs> um, so yeah they even do that at studio republic so i've been literally signing up for all the classes so this week we've got um, a lot of dance classes we've got a lot of yoga and i think i've also booked some aerial classes as well which i'm a bit nervous about because i feel like i feel like i've lost all my strength <laughs> i had really built up a, quite a good um like core strength from all the pilates i was doing at the start of the year and I feel like I need a bit of time to get that back. But anyway, it's going to be a good, healthy week in my life. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling motivated. I'm feeling inspired. And I'm feeling, what else am I feeling? Positive. Anyway, let's go make some lunch. I don't have a Kibson's grocery unboxing for you guys in this video because I haven't done any grocery shopping. Why is that? It's because I'm doing a juice cleanse tomorrow and i'm just using up what i have in for today so i'm starting this organic press um juice cleanse but it's a the one that i've chosen is the one that i've, I've done it before i did it a few months ago and i really like that they have the option to do the protein cleanse because it's, it's you're still getting i think 1200 calories like it's not a crazy it's not a fast really it's just um 
it's still got all plant-based protein um, and I wanted to have that because I've got a very active week coming up. I didn't want to take another few days of just like fasting and being around the house. Like I still wanted to keep up all my activities and going to dance class and everything like that. So anyway, I'm starting the juice cleanse tomorrow. So I'm pretty much just using what I have in the fridge. So let's go make some lunch. Look at that that I just whipped together. That looks delicious. I'm so excited to tuck into that. So we've got rice noodles, got broccolini, pak choy, tofu, edamame, um, Thai eggplants there. Oh my God, yum. Body can dress to impress, no stress, though they're waiting. I keep them waiting. Makeup on fleek, high heels, ripped jeans, they're all waiting. I'm on my way. Well guys, yesterday's dance classes completely wiped me out. I was exhausted when I got in, so I didn't want to vlog, but it was so fun. It was really fun. I feel like I'm a bit rusty, but it was really fun. And yeah, just two completely different classes. It was all really good. I'm really glad I went and I'm really glad I like pushed myself. It was a bit um, more busy. Like the classes are bigger in size to the ones that I was used to at Chima, but that's, good. That's a good thing, really, because I feel like, I don't know, there's nowhere to hide. <laughs> That's a good thing, really, though, because I feel like, yeah, I don't know. It's good for confidence, I think. Um, anyway, now it is Tuesday. Today I'm starting the Organic Press Juice Cleanse. So I've just had my morning green juice and the wellness shot. In fact, I don't know if you guys remember, but I have done this juice cleanse before. Um, and what I like about them is that they do the protein cleanse where it's, you're not really entering a state of fasting. This is really keeps you full because it's got loads of protein in it, which is great because I'm on the go today. And today's uh, today's schedule of dance classes, it's so fun. I've got my leotard on already under this. Um, we're doing ballet and contemporary. Very fun. And then... <laughs> And this afternoon, me and Jen have booked our second DJ lesson. We're actually doing this one by ourselves rather than in the group because it was re it was really fun in the group and we did enjoy it. But I feel like we you would make so much more progress doing it one one on one, oh. one on two. <laughs> so we're doing it together, um, and we've bought like a. a pack of five lessons so we're gonna do it once a week which i'm just like grinning because i'm just i'm laughing at how fun and just random this is but why not honestly why not so um i've got all i've packed my bag i'm gonna work from studio republic in the afternoon they also have a salon there so i might try and get my nails done um, anyway let's go gonna do a get ready with me but where does the morning go honestly True. like I woke up with so much time I woke up at like 7 30 I had so much time even though this is an early brunch like I think yeah, most true. brunches in Dubai Seven. start at, yeah they start at like one or two but this is a 12 30 start and we don't want to be late because we're always late for brunch and I feel like I don't want to miss a minute of this one so I said to the girls right we're being on time today and we are running on time but I did not have time to do any like 
get ready with me or TikToks or anything like I wanted to. But never mind, that's okay. Um, we're going to the Nice Guy brunch today, and they're I think they've just relaunched their brunch, so it's a new menu and everything. Um, and we've only been for ladies' night. Oh, did dinner. we, did, we, did we just birthday dinner. Oh yeah, my birthday dinner, yeah. Um, but we've not done the brunch at the Nice Guy, so I have high expectations. Georgia says it's really good, so exciting. And we're just gonna go pick up Kirsty. We are looking beautiful, if I may say so myself. We've both got um lovely maxi outfit on. I've been waiting to wear this dress for like um months. I bought it for Mallorca but ended up not wearing it. Um, and where's your outfit from, Jess? Um, it's uh, from ASOS. Jen. <laughs> ASOS and ASOS. SLA, the label. Yeah. And Jacques Moose bag. Oh my God, the star. Um, I hope to, uh, Kirsty got the maxi memo. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're all coordinating. Um, but yeah, super exciting. And I didn't uh, vlog the past two days. So this might be the first clip in a new vlog. I'm not really sure. Haven't decided yet. Um, but the past few days, I have just been in the gym working hard my muscles are dying but that's okay four classes a day literally <laughs> i know <laughs> all <the rest. laughs> i know i might you know how i was like on a mission to do a headstand yeah i might make it my new mission to do a handstand yeah which is so much yeah. harder than a headstand like i might i might make that my like yeah. quarterly goal <laughs> <laughs> on New Year's Eve, I'll be going into a handstand <laughs> doing the splits. <laughs> Who needs the fireworks? Exactly, I'm just going to put on a show for you guys. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> meeting with a really nice um, UAE local business that I'm going to be working with on some content but I'm not going to tell you about it just yet. Um, all you need to know is that I had a lovely morning um, and I'm feeling very inspired and excited and yeah it was out here um, in an area that I've not really seen much of it's called Dubai Digital Park and it's so modern but it's honestly a bit of a ghost town. Um, anyway all successful in the meeting it went really well it felt good to kind of be I don't know how to describe it it felt good to like be in professional mode a little bit because I kind of feel like I've been in such a rut with um just my approach to work since getting back from summer I feel like I've really struggled to focus and just get excited about stuff but this really this really changed that honestly so it felt good it was a good meeting it felt good to you know get back into that professional state of mind um and they seem like really great people to work with so that's always a plus anyway so it is now about 11 30 on wednesday and this is this is what i love about freelance life is that i'm now going for a wellness appointment for a massage at a spa that i've not been to before it's called soul senses and they have loads of locations but i'm going to the one in jvt because it's closest to where i live in jvc so yeah what, what what an amazing um thing to do at 12 o'clock on a wednesday like living the dream here guys so i'm excited to go check it out um and i feel like i'm in 
like I can't even tell you this is like so needed because ever since I've been getting back into the gym doing pilates doing dance classes doing yoga I feel like my body is crying for a massage <laughs> so I've booked the deep tissue massage <laughs> So I booked a deep tissue massage and I'm hoping this is going to help my sore muscles. Also, I'm hoping for a bit of relaxation because I have been feeling a bit of, um, I wouldn't say it's like anxiety, but more just kind of restlessness. Um, so I'm looking forward to just chilling out, <laughs> honestly. And then later today, I have a couple of classes booked at my gym. One of them is a singing class. One of them is a reformer class and one of them is a musical theatre class which should be fun and different I don't know I feel a bit nervous now but it should be good um I did the acting one last week and I really enjoyed it so but I was a bit nervous when I was in it but yeah no it should be good <laughs> And I was just looking at my calendar and I thought to myself, God, what a good day I've got today. So let me tell you about it. So it's currently about 11 o'clock and I'm heading to Studio Republic to start my day with a piano lesson, which just feels like very random. I'm still getting used to this new new hobby of mine. Um, this will be my fourth lesson, I think. Let me tell you, I'm not finding it easy at all. I am finding it difficult, but I think it's always going to be difficult at the start. I like, yeah, when you start anything new, I think you do need to get over that initial like, or I don't know if everybody gets this, but for me, if I'm not immediately good at something, I do find it difficult to persevere. So that's where I'm at with with this. Is <laughs> I'm like psyching myself up to be like, it's okay that you're not great at this because it's only your fourth lesson. Anyway, so that's my, that's 11.30. Then I'm meeting up with an old friend for lunch, which will be lovely, at a cafe that I've never been to before, so I'll let you know how that is. Um, then I'm doing, then I've got a call with one of my lovely clients, so that should be good. We um, haven't had a call in, I think, two weeks, so it'll be good to catch up with them. And I'm going to work from my gym because it's got such a nice little cafe space, so I'm going to work from there. Then after that, what's after that? Then I'm doing Reformer Pilates, which I've been really loving. And I feel like, I did because I did it yesterday, my abs are so, so sore. But that's okay. <laughs> I mean, that's, what, that's what it's meant to do. Um, yeah, the Reformer Studio is beautiful as well. And I really enjoy it there. The, the teacher is really good. Um, it feels like a really good workout. So that's at five. And then after that, I have a singing lesson. So it's really all go today. Then I did book an acting class, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go because that would just mean my day is so, so long. Um, so I'm going to see how I feel. I'm going to play it by ear a little bit. But yeah, I, I, I've been just working. I had a coffee, sat down at my desk this morning, was getting some work done. I feel like I had, I did not have a productive day yesterday. I finished the massage and I was like, right, that's me done for today. <laughs> it was about 2 p.m. I was like, I feel way too relaxed to get anything done. So I just called it, you know, a write off day, all in the knee, all in the name of self-care and mental health and taking a break and just honestly for me it's like trying not to feel guilty for taking time off that's that's so me so yeah like the yesterday afternoon I was feeling so relaxed after the massage I got home I immediately put pajamas on and I watched a movie I watched Challengers which was I really enjoyed it um with Zendaya in it and what else did I do I made, oh my God, I made the most incredible vegan Caesar salad. It was so good. I literally said to Jen, I was, I literally got her some off of my plate. I was like, you have to try this because I'm so proud of it. And she was like, yeah, it's good. <laughs> so I made the most delicious um, vegan Caesar salad and had a Diet Coke. You know, that combo of like Caesar salad and Diet Coke, it's kind of just, kind of just hits different, especially when you're in pajamas watching a movie. I was like, <sighs> this is what self-care means to me then I went on a little hot girl walk listened to a podcast listened to the relatable podcast which is one of my faves at the moment because it's just so funny 
Um, so yeah, that was my day of self care. I feel like most of this vlog is going to be me in taxis, but I'll I'll really try and vlog today. Um, I'm probably not going to vlog me actually playing piano because I cannot <laughs> yet. So that's not going to happen. But I might put in some clips of the rest of the day. Having catch up, hi Yash. We're celebrating his fastest driver's test. Yay! <laughs> Just having a very green, a green meal and that was delicious as well. That's like the opposite, but we're in this cute little cafe. Hello guys, happy. Well, I was gonna say happy weekend then. It is actually Friday, so it's not technically the weekend yet. But I've just got a taxi to Jumeirah because I'm getting my hair done today. It's the day of the pink hair. I'm very excited for it. I feel like my hair is just in absolute need of a makeover. It's been so long. But I'm 10 minutes early for my appointment and there's a supermarket next door to it that I feel like I just always go in because I think it's the only one in Dubai. And they have all sorts of stuff. When it was Christmas, I picked up loads of vegan like vegan treats that we couldn't find, can't find in a lot of places. So specifically looking for today is uh, vegan marshmallows <laughs> because I saw a TikTok video of um, this, somebody had made s'mores dip in the air fryer. They're marshmallows, but they're not vegan. Anyway, so I'm gonna have a look around the supermarket. Like they basically just have loads of imported stuff that you can't always get in the supermarkets here. Oh, they do have a vegan Kit Kat. I've not seen those in Dubai. I've seen them in England. Okay, annoyingly, I can't seem to find, they've only got, they've got all these, but all of these are beef gelatin ones, which is a shame. Okay, this is the before. Lots of roots and lots of dry, dead hair that I think needs to come off. <laughs> the salon it is bright as you can see I don't think I've ever had it this bright um but I'm kind of here for it like basically because the color washes out you have to have it a bit um a bit bright if it's going to last four weeks so I it's always brightest at the start like day one but I feel like I kind of want to maintain it this color just because it's so fun um so yeah I'm here for it how cute so I'm now in a taxi, I'm about five minutes away from a new opening that's here in Dubai, it's called The Charm Bar, and it's so funny because me and my, me, Mia and Jen found this jewellery shop in Turkey where you could build your own charm necklaces and bracelets, and we loved it so much, and like, we loved the idea of it, and luckily for us, it's not the same brand or anything, but the same concept has opened up here in, in, in Dubai. And it's been so busy. It's by appointment only because they've had such a great response to it. Um, but we've managed to get an appointment today. So I'm meeting Jen there and we're going to make some charm necklaces, which is very cute. So what a fun little Friday activity. Well, we just arrived. They just explained to us the concept. I'm so excited to get um, stuck in and looking through all these charms. Like they have so many. Um, I messaged Jen this morning and I was like, I feel like you need to look on their Instagram in advance because she's the most indecisive person ever. So she's got a bit of a list. Oh my God, they even have little like berries. Like, that's so cute. Yeah, cute. Little chili.
Okay, we're choosing our charms. I feel like you've actually found them really quickly. In like, research. Yeah, free research. <laughs> and I'm going beachy. This shell is so cute. Like, I'm just not sure whether I want it to be symmetrical. Oh, that's actually quite symmetrical. Yeah, that's, that's quite nice. Day two of pink hair world is the update is I keep forgetting and then wonder why people are looking at me, why toddlers are pointing at me, <laughs> but still loving it. Um, I think I can only wear white now though. Like I had planned to wear a blue dress today and I thought I would look too much like a in some kind of costume. So Baby white it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> or like, I don't know, just like Katy Perry or something. Like, <laughs> like too like bubble gummy. So anyway, white it is and I've got my new necks on. So also got a little shell anklet on to make it a bit beachy um, because we're heading to a restaurant on West Palm Beach. We've not been to this one, but it's been on the list ever since it opened. I think it opened about, when did it open? What, has it been a year? Yeah. Maybe about a year. Um, and it looks just gorgeous. So it's called Maison de la Plage. We're just arriving now. my camera to vlog on my phone on the windowsill like I always do and I was like the windowsill has got lower it's not got lower I've just got these massive shoes on <laughs> so I'm obviously a bit taller right now so in fact let me sit here so today is Sunday we me and Kirsty are doing a pool day today at gallery 740 it's honestly one of the most beautiful restaurants on West Palm and they're launching a new Sunday ladies day, which is 11 till two. You get lunch, you get um, free flowing drinks. Although saying that, I don't feel like me and Kirsty, either of us really want to drink because um, cause we had quite a few wines yesterday and I feel like we just want to relax and lie in the sun. Dare I say we'll be laying in the sun. I think we will. Sorry about that guys, that was just my Kibson's order arriving. So they've stopped doing the boxes. Uh, the halls will never be the same now that they're in a bag i feel like it's completely different but um i'm not going to do this haul for you right now because i literally need to 
dash out the door. Just quickly put it in the fridge. I'm not doing a haul, sorry guys, because I'm literally just waiting for Kirsty. She'll be here any minute. She's gonna drive us to the palm. Um, but yeah, we had such a good time yesterday at Maison de la Plage. Really recommend it. I'm not sure if it was extra busy because of the Harvey Nichols um, like pop-up event, which wasn't that, like not much to write home about for that one. There wasn't that much. Um, like it was nothing special and groundbreaking. They did a little fashion show, but I feel like everybody was kind of in their own world at the tables anyway. So it, yeah, it was, I don't know, for me, I felt like I barely noticed it, but um, the service was great. They had amazing live music as well. Honestly, it was so much fun. Then we moved over to the bar area. The atmosphere was really good. Then we went to Feb 30, which is a, it's a bar that just like everybody goes to basically. Bumped into a million people we know. Um, and it was a good night. Me and Jen came home at about 1 a.m. And I don't normally order food when I get in, but I was absolutely starving for some reason. So I got a Zarub and it was my first Zarub in months. So I was very happy about that. Zarub have also started doing vine leaves. So I got, not only did I get the impossible shawarma, which I love, I also got vine leaves, my favorite thing ever. But then I was so full, I didn't even eat them. So they're in the fridge. Um, and then woke up this morning, went to the sauna um, at Contrast in Circle Mall, which was nice, nice way to like, get rid of the toxins get rid of any wine hangover that I might have had yeah and I've now just got ready I feel like having this hair I feel like I didn't really realize what I was signing in for in that I think I didn't know what I was signing up for in that I think if you've got bright pink hair it has to be styled like I can't just wake up with a bedhead and go out anymore because everybody's going to look at the pink hair but it won't look good unless it's styled so I said to Kirsty, I was like I'm running a bit late because I have to dye, dye some hair um, which I feel like I wouldn't normally do for a pool day, but I'm still in the honeymoon phase of having pink hair, so I don't mind. I'm dedicated to it. Right, she's probably downstairs, so I'm gonna go. For a little roast dinner, just the, the three of us. It's always us three at the moment. We can't say no to anything. Um, here we go. Perfect. Thank you very much. This looks banging. 